let's take a look at adding and subtracting complex numbers. Okay, remember that complex numbers in the form of a plus bi. And when we're going to add or subtract, we really just treat these like they have a variable. We treat the i like a variable. So if you look at this one on top, we have 3 plus 5i plus 4 minus 2i. The 3 and the 4 are going to go together. 3 plus 4 is 7. And then we have 5i minus 2i, which is 3i plus 3i. Okay, and that's it. We're going to add the real number parts, and we're going to combine the imaginary parts. So let's look at this problem down here. This is 8 minus 9i as a complex number, and we're subtracting a complex number of 7 minus 3i. Now, the real number parts, we have the 8 minus 7, and 8 minus 7 is going to be just 1. And then this is important. We have negative 9i minus a negative 3i. Minus a negative. Okay, so in a way, we need to distribute this negative through. Let me put a negative 1 here. Let's go ahead and look at it like distributing. We'll have 8 minus 9i. And then we're going to have minus 7. And then we're going to have minus a negative. 3i, which is plus 3i. Okay, so that might help us see it better, how they go together. My real number parts, 8 minus 7 is going to be 1. And my imaginary parts is going to be negative 9i right here, plus 3i. And that's going to give me minus 6i. Okay, so adding and subtracting complex numbers, you just treat the I term like it was a variable.